first question from Mark Topkin. Kevin, I guess just knowing how invested you are in this team and its success, can you kind of just describe the feeling of, of how this ended and, and losing tonight? Um, you know, we, uh, we wanted to win this, obviously, came in here feel, feeling really good about ourselves. But, um, you know, now that, no, that's over with, it, it's just, um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm not disappointed. Um, I'm so proud of, of everyone in our whole organization for what we accomplished this year. Um, you know, came up a little bit short of, of what our goal was, and that was to be out there celebrating right now, hosting that trophy up. But um, Dodgers played, they played better than us. They, um, they did. And, and, you know, four games of two, it, it is what it is. And, and they, they did a great job. They, they pitched, they hit, they, they scored in many different ways. And, uh, you know, we got beat fair and square. And, uh, but, you know, talking about our group, uh, man, there was, there were so many things to be so proud of, excited for all the great moments that we are part of this year. Uh, I, I said a little something to the guys after the game and, I said, you know what, we, we sat here, we won the division, we came to play each and every day. Uh, we handled business against the Blue Jays in the playoffs, beat a, a very um, good Yankees team and, and was able to experience that great game five moment with Ross. And then, you know, the Astros series, we made it very interesting and, and found a way to win at the most crucial time. And, and here, um, being able to experience this and, and be in this moment, knowing that uh, we deserve to be here uh, you know, m meant the world to all of us. And obviously, once again, we would love to win it, but, um, you know, it just wasn't our time. And But to experience what we did game four with Brett Phillips and watch Randy Arozarena this whole time be the best player on the planet, there, there was a lot of really good things to be proud of. And um, I know I'm rambling now, but I I'm so proud to be a part of this group and this organization and, um, you know, just a, a pure joy from, from the get-go, given with all the protocols and what we were up against. It means the world, uh, you know, to go to battle with these guys each and every day. So I'm at peace. I really am. I, I'm, you know, obviously would have loved to win this, but um, in hindsight, there's a lot to be proud of. Life is good. And, and Kevin, you've seen uh, Kevin Cash make decisions throughout the season. Many of them have worked out. What was your reaction to that move tonight? Uh, I'm not the manager. I, I, I don't, I don't make, um, decisions. I, you know, asking for my opinion though, I think it was, it was Blake's game. He was dominating. Um, I don't really care what the numbers say third time through the order or whatever. He, there wasn't many guys making contact in general and, and no hard contact whatsoever. And, uh, you know, I think we all wanted to see him go in there, but or stay in there. But it's, uh, you know, Cash and everyone, have, they've been great this whole year uh, with making decisions. And, you know, it didn't work out for us right there. But, you know, with Blake's pitch count and how dominant he was, I think all of us, well, no, I, I can't even say that. I, I wanted to see him stay in because, uh, you know, he's had the early hook last couple of times out there. And, I was hoping they'd give them that final nod, but uh, you know, being up one nothing, that probably didn't help our chances. If we had three, three or four run lead, things would have been different. But you know, the situation was we were up one nothing, and and uh, they wanted to go to the bullpen right there. But I thought Blake was dominant from first pitch to the last, and you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Who knows what would have happened, but. Um, you know, he threw the ball great. That might have been the best I've seen him. It was incredible. Juan Trebio. Hey, Kevin, on, on that note, Betts, Mookie Betts said that, that maybe that's what they needed, just kind of see a pitching change. On your side, did that inning kind of how it unfolded? Did, did that deflate you guys in any way? I mean, when you guys see it, the inning kind of on play? Yeah, it did. Um, you know, even though it was 1-0, we 1-0 lead right there, uh, you know, we've, with the way Blake was throwing, um, we thought that he could have got through 
two or three more innings uh, potentially given what his pitch count was and, you know, decisions from that point on. But um, yeah, you know, of course, uh, you know, baseball works in mysterious ways and then Mookie, Mookie hits a double right there and, and they got some momentum on their side, then the wild pitch and, and then uh, Seager's RBI ground out, um, you know, everything unfolded pretty quickly, but you know, it was unfortunate to see, but we've we've uh, had a certain formula throughout the whole year, and you know we won a lot of ball games like that. It just it didn't work in our favor tonight, and uh, you know it, it's easy to sit here and um, like I said, say coulda, woulda, shoulda, but we went with uh, you know with our gut, and it, it just didn't work out for us. Tyler Kepner. Yeah, Kevin, um, you talked about woulda, coulda, shoulda, and you gave all the credit to the Dodgers. But how long do you think you'll wrestle with that um, idea of wondering what would have happened if Blake had stayed in there? You know what? To be honest, not even giving you a, a politically correct answer or anything, um, it's done and over with. Uh, it is easy it is it, as it is to sit here and and have those conversations with, with certain people. Um it does us it does us no good right now because they're out there celebrating right now and you know our season came to an end um you know runners up of this whole thing so it's uh you know it does us no good to sit here and um you know try to figure out what would have happened if blake would have stayed in um and it's a very fair question i'll, I'll say that but once again, we, we made the decisions that we did and, and went with, uh, you know, certain personnel and it just didn't work out in our favor. And I, I think um, a lot of people will sit here and go back uh, and, you know, there's probably a lot of other people who want to answer that question for you. But once again, we have a certain formula for how we try to win ball games, and it just didn't work out for us tonight. Life goes on. A um, lot to be proud of in our clubhouse. Gabe Blackens. Uh, hey, Kevin. Yeah, you talk about the formula and such. Is that just kind of part of the, I guess, the deal or the bargain of, of playing for the Rays in that you you accept the good outcomes and then you have to kind of, I guess, accept it when maybe something that goes against the real traditional baseball book doesn't go your way? Uh, I mean, it, you just sort of, on balance, live with it when it doesn't go go your way, even if you felt a guy like Blake was dealing. Yeah, you win as a team, you lose as a team. Um and you, and you go from there, but, um, you know, it's you, when you win those ball games, no one really raises concern or no one really talks about a whole lot. And, and, you know, it, it worked out for you, then you move on. But whenever things don't work out for you, that's when, uh, you know, everyone wants to magnify things and, and, um, you know, talk about it. And like I said, it, it's very fair. Trust me. I, I totally understand that, but, um, once again, we we've been uh, we know how everything works. Uh, you know, analytics is is a huge part of our success, and sometimes it can bite you in the butt. Um, sometimes a human element of the game can bite you in the butt when you go with your gut. Things always don't work out for you. Uh, that's baseball. That's what makes this game so great. There's a lot of gambles you take throughout the course of a game um, that a lot of people don't realize and it's easy to sit here and be manager from your couch or the living room wherever but uh you know there's a lot of work that goes into this each and every day before each and every game and uh like i said when things don't work out for you that's when you want to sit here and talk about it rightfully so but uh once again we win as a team we lose as a team take a final question from stephanie Epstein. hey Kevin. uh sorry that we do this and sorry for adding to it uh but is and maybe you can answer this do you think it's is it harder to lose like this when there are so many shoulda coulda wouldas as opposed to like if your guy stays out there and he just gives up the lead do you think that's an easier thing to stomach yeah i said i mean um i thought it was blake's game to lose if that makes any sense um that's my opinion I just I was I had a great seat in center field and, and watching how he was just striking out everybody in his slider, curveball, heater, changeup, had everything going. 
And, um, you know, his pitch count had to be around 73 or 74. I remember looking up and, and seeing that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it was an unfortunate way to, to see it end. I mean, it, it was no doubt about it, but, um, once again, you know, Kevin Cash, our front office, everyone, you know, they put together a certain game plan and, and they've been right time and time again. And, you know, if we would have scored more runs um, and had, you know, better at bats and, and, and try to generate more offense to give Blake a little bit more breathing room, you know, he would have stayed in there. So, um, we, you know, we we did what he, we did. And it didn't work out. I mean, plain and simple. There's, uh, yeah, not much more to it than that, but, you know, life goes on and, uh, you know, once again, so proud of this group. We accomplished a ton, a lot to be proud of. And, uh, you know, guys should go into the off season with their heads held high. All right, that's all the time we have for KK.